glue, a ruler, a hammer, some old books. If only I had a craft knife, I could show you something really quite interesting. Where on earth am I going to get one of those? Well, perhaps I can just conjure one out of midair. Hmm, no conjuring trick. Wasn't up my sleeve. Where was it hidden? Well, it was actually hidden in the interesting thing. Inside here, it's a cavity book. Now, to do this, you have to cut up an old book. One word of warning, old books are often valuable and even precious. So if you're going to do this, get a book that nobody wants anymore. I've got an old government report here that's out of date, just the thing. Or old textbooks that are being thrown out by a library because they really are no good. Make sure the book isn't good for anything else. But if you open a book up, and this is uh, an out of date geography book, you'll find that books are printed by and large with a block of text in the middle and a white margin around the edge. You want to remove all the printing from the middle. The best way to do that is to take your book, take the front and the back cover, fold them together to get them out of the way, then just peel back a few pages till you get to that text and get a nail and drive it in at the corner of all the block of text. Here we go through all of the pages but not through either of the covers. Let's go. A bit of wiggling and that'll come out again and we go on to the next corner. Here we are. Now as you do this you should drive it through all of the pages and it acts as a marker. You don't actually have to, you can be guided by the print alone, but this is somewhat better. Because with those holes in place, you can now get a craft knife and a ruler and start to cut between all of the holes. And as you turn the pages, those holes will mean that your cut is always in the same place. Be very careful of your fingers and make about, well, I'd say two good cuts on each occasion. That's that side this side. Notice how you can just line up the holes and be sure of where you're going. And as you do that, this is the hardest one, I think we need to turn it around like that. You can be absolutely confident that when you're finished, a nice block of page will drop out of the middle of the cutting. Like this. There we are, the white margin's intact, but as we turn the page, all of that stuff in the middle comes dropping out and you're starting to form a little cavity there. Well, it takes a while to work your way all through the book, but when you do and fold the covers back, it's going to look like this. All of the inside is missing and into that you can put special and precious things more valuable than a craft knife. Cover it up, shove it on your bookshelves and no one will know what's hidden inside there, especially if it's a book that looks a bit dull. Well, even then, it's got a few flaws, because as you open it, things can slip through between the loose pages, like that. So it's probably better to take the book, open, we'll work with that one again, and with a glue stick, just work from the back, run a smear of glue around each page, and bring the next one down on top of it. That takes a while. You might need to spend several days doing that, because it's a bit boring. But it's worth it, because when they're all stuck together, you end up with a book like this. And as you can see, that really is a little box. Open it up, turn the first few pages like this. They act as a bit of a screen in case anybody should happen to pick the thing up. And lo and behold, there's the cavity there. And because the pages are all stuck together, it really is like a little box. And you can put all sorts of precious things in there. Well, go to it, but don't use a precious book.